Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 uh, oh man, goddamn, it's a new day, now I'm getting money, I swear everything's changing. Hey, everybody, it's your boy Smitty, man, we back with another video and whatnot, man, um, been having this on my mind for a while, and, uh, and, um, been hearing a lot of people on YouTube say certain things about this subject, um, um, so I figured I'll say something about it because I'm tired of hearing it, you know. <laughs> um, what I'm going to talk about is different situations for different people. Now, what I mean is there's <clears throat> my situation back at home. Maybe different than yours back at home. I have I have only a wife. You got two kids and a wife. The guy next to you is single. The guy next to him is divorced with four children with papers. What I mean papers means that um, child support, if you don't know what that means. So what I'm going to talk about... There's different situations that, that, um, truck drivers have or people have. I get a lot of people saying, don't do this, don't do that, don't do leasing, um, uh, don't do company, go straight to lease, um, don't do over the road, uh, don't do regional, don't do dedicated. Y'all saying don't, 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 and you don't even know the person's situation back at the crib. Now, let's be real. You worrying about another man, and then you get mad when he say, oh, I'm about to do this. Oh, I'm about to do that. Oh, and then you tell the, you tell the person, don't do it. Don't go lease. Don't do that. Stop doing that. Because a lot of these people, before they even get into the game, are listening to you. So when you say don't do this, <clears throat> just because maybe it didn't work out for you and how you handled it may not have been right. Now, Different, how should I put it? Um, Prime's a big company. Prime, Snyder, Warner. A lot of these big, big companies, a lot of people saying, uh, don't do this, don't, don't lease from them, don't do this, don't do that. Just because it didn't work for you doesn't mean that the next guy is not going to work for me. I'm at Prime. I've had multiple people say, even people, when I come home to my home time sale, oh, don't do prime, uh, prime leasing thing is this. So you're paying a thousand something dollars a week just for your truck payment. Okay. And then you say, uh, go to this company and you can get your truck within six to seven years. I don't want that just to have one truck in six or seven years I can have two trucks three trucks depending on how you do it here at Prime now let's talk about the other side of this about the family part now about if you have two or three kids if you have a mortgage if you have a car payment if you have if your wife's not working and you're the only one working I know multiple people here at Prime that have been through a successful lease and have money and like what they do. Yes, they train and some don't train. And the ones who some don't train, some of them, some of them have a child of the house, and a wife.
pay mortgage, and have a car. Now, I do the reefer side. Now, I'm going to get a lot of heat for this, and I, typically I don't give a damn. I think the reef side, the best side at Prime. I see a lot of people on flatbed, they drop off. And that's not getting the tanker. I see a lot of people talking about, oh, I can't wait till my lease is up. And then I ask them, you know, what do you do? Oh, I'm on the tanker side. Oh, okay. All right. Then let's talk about the flatbed side. I ain't, I, I ain't gonna go in there. I ain't gonna talk about flatbed side because a lot of people who leave Prime were on flatbed. Let's keep it 100. For the past six to eight months, past six to eight months, year, there's been a lot of flatbed people just saying, you know what, I'm done with Prime. And they're leasing. I'm just keeping it 100. So, reefer side, I really haven't seen nobody say, you know what, I'm done with reefer side. I'm, I'm done with this. There's people that come from flatbed over the reefer side. Why? Because the money. Because I can't say money because I don't know that. Excuse me. I, I don't know that. But I can say reefer side got more loads than flatbed. I can't say that though. Cause a lot of people bitch and moan about that. And um this is what it is. Now for the for the guy who says Um you don't know shit about lease, so you're this is your first lease. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But I do my research though. I done my research and my situation is not yours. I have a wife, zero kids. So all I have to worry about is me and my wife. Your situation may be different. So stop saying, don't do these certain things at these certain companies. Stop bashing prime. Stop bashing Snyder, Warner, and all these certain things. Your situation at home is different than mine. I can bring home eighteen to 2300 every week and be happy. Why? Because it's me and my wife. We have no bills at the house at this time and moment. And when we do get a bill... We're good. Still good. I'm not going to go into the bill part because we all grown. You know what you have at the house. You know what bills you have. You will know what what needs to be paid. You know if you're leasing, you want to get that load off you quick and get on to the next load. So all that stopping four or five times and one day is killing yourself, killing yourself. Do your 600 mile plus, run hard, bust ass, and get the money. Multiple people at Prime are successful and have families. Yes, you can make more money as a trainer. Yes. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here in April. Make more money. Make it easy for me. Is this something that you want to do and invest your time in? Do it. It doesn't happen overnight, people. It does not happen overnight. So stop thinking that you're going to make all this money overnight. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Like I said before, fast money ain't always good money. But that long money will get you a 401k, 
You can put money in a Roth IRA. If you if you put in 10 strong years out here, you can retire in 10 to 12 years and have three to four trucks or five trucks under you. If you run hard and do what you're supposed to do, save your money correctly. When you get paid that two thousand, three thousand, don't spend it. Give some to yourself with the rest in the bank. There's a business. Run your truck like a business. Do your research, people. So I just wanted to do this little quick little video, man. I keep hearing people. And I'm just not shooting at one person. Everybody, oh, you shooting at this person, shooting at that person. If I wanted to shoot at one person, I'll let you know, man. But that's not who I am, man. I'm just tired of hearing multiple people talk about it. All right? I'm trying to hear people, multiple people talk about, don't do this. If you go and type in Prime on YouTube, you'll see a lot of people saying, I left Prime. Prime's not good. This, that. So people who bash Prime are saying, don't do that Prime, stop it. Or say, don't go to a major company and don't do this, stop it. Do what you got to do. Take care of business and get this money. Everybody's situation is different than yours. I want to shout out to my boy, Al, Alan, Alan Ross. That guy got knowledge. Alan Ross got some knowledge. Look him up on, on Facebook. He's a trainer here at uh, Prime. Look him up. Look him up, man. Good knowledge person. If you're looking to come to Prime, um, ref um, ask for him to do your PSD and then ask for me to do your TNT. You know? And we're going to run. I start training April 1st, or the first week of April, or the second week of April. All right? Y'all keep your heads up out here, man. 2017. Make this money. Do what you got to do to support yours. Stop worrying about the next man. That's what a lot of this drama on Facebook, YouTube, people worrying about other people's bullshit. Talk about, oh, I'm going to run up on you. You ain't going to run up on shit. Because if you're about it, you'd have been done it. All that talking. But when a nigga in front of your face, you hush him out. Then you want to pull the guns out and whatnot. <laughs> what do you pause at? You feel me? <laughs> but, but anyway, though, that different situation. It's your boy Smitty. It's your boy Smith. I'm signing out, man. Y'all have a blessed, blessed week. Y'all keep your heads up out here, man. Peace. Yo, Percocet, Miley Percocet.